Alrighty folks, this is Lurch from Ireland Gaming and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. This is the Axion. Now I built this a few months ago and it was one of the very first large ships that I built. I decided to do something a little bit different with it. The Axion has no visible weapons when out of combat. They're all embedded in the hull and spring into action whenever enemies come into range. Now sadly with this blueprint there seems to be a few blocks missing here and there as it's pretty old and I think they've got like damaged or corrupt in the in the patch processes over the, the last couple of months. Um, all of the weapons are mounted on spin blocks rather than turrets, so let's have a quick look at them. This one on the front is uh, one of the old custom cannons, and you can see the barrel mounted in the hull here. And this is just an armor, uh, like, she uh, shell on the front to cover it up whenever it's popped out of the hull. I'll show little bits, uh, there'll be little videos popping up on the screen here to show these guys in action and uh, this is the internals of the thing like I say there seems to be a couple of blocks missing here but uh, yeah with the uh, spin block weapons you have to put the local weapon controller on the turret or on the spin block rather than on like a turret thing so this is the front cannons and they pop up nicely they've got a lovely armored shield on the top of them that prevents them from taking damage while they're underneath Let's move on to the next weapon system. This here is what I call the Scorpion Missile Array, because of the big taily thing at the back. And uh, this guy is quite a big missile rack. It's a short range missile rack. It's configured to pop up whenever it's only like four or five hundred meters away from the target and is typically for anti-air targets. But yeah, it's a big ass missile rack and it just pops up via spin block mounted up here. There it is there, his ACB's controller. Next we have these side mounted cannons, which are literally a prefab of the front one, only with the barrels cut down to size, and this let me fit it into the hull at the side here. Uh, there's uh, not a huge pile of room there, uh, because of the width of the hull. Obviously the boat is longer than it is wide, but this is the box that contains it, and this rotates upwards and spins out of the hull and lets you blow crap up with it. This is just a little room on the inside. It's an AI box there, a uh, couple of little compartments for stuff back into the front. Next is these big fellas at the back. Now they're just not big boxes or huts. There's a massive missile array in these guys and these are big huge ass cruise missiles. A whole bunch of those. And this is slightly different to the other ones in that the, the door here, this is a big door on a separate spin block that rotates upwards and fills into this gap. And then this is on another spin block that turns outwards and is able to fire from there on. The final weapon system, there is a, obviously LAM systems all over this thing, but these are anti-missile missiles. I think they're Lua controlled, if I remember correctly. But they are missile interceptors and they pop up whenever a missile is detected nearby rather than an enemy. So that's just a quick walkabout of uh, the Axion and what it does and how it worked. Now, while not terribly practical for cannons, this sort of idea is... it's a pretty cool concept. So, while this guy doesn't work anymore, I did put together uh, a few examples on a, on a test platform with uh, glass and stuff so that you have a better idea how these kind of weapons are built. So let's move over there. The first example is a 10 rack missile launcher using just one spin block. Now this is the easiest type of concealed weapon to pull off as it requires minimal spin block wizardry and it has the spin block attached at the back where I would like it to rotate from. The two ACBs below control when it pops up and down. Now, as this is a spin block and not a turret, in every example I have the local weapon controller on the spin block and attached to the relevant weapon component. The first ACB is configured to pop up the rack when enemies get within 800 meters and there is a firing range limitation and a fail safe on the local weapon controller to prevent it from firing while the turret is down. This helps reduce the risk of the weapon firing while recessed and blowing a big hole in your hull. The angle that you set this ACB to is entirely dependent on the weapon you are building, so 15 here, different in other scenarios. The second ACB is set to reset the spin block to zero after a few seconds. It should be configured like that. It's also worthwhile to put a one second effect delay 
on this to stop the turret popping up and down during combat. Now it will override it, but it just it looks a bit janky. If you're using multiple concealed weapons like this, you can use just one of these ACBs without a range limitation to control all the spin blocks on the ship, rather than using one for each weapon. Just remember though that this makes it tricky to use other spin blocks in the craft as it will interfere with them. Now this particular design is very easy to build, nice and compact and works rather well. But for goodness sake, don't forget the fail safe and the range limitations, you blow your own arse off. This next example I have is for a concealed cannon. And I'm just going to put this out there now. These things are a pain in the ass to build, they have extremely limited fire arc, and they are riddled with a bunch of other small problems that often lead to big gaping holes in your hull. You have been warned. The biggest problem of all is, though, they look so damn cool. <laughs> These sort of cannons are only really useful as a broadside cannon, and having to hide the barrel is very difficult if it's really long. So you're also limited in your shell choice. This particular cannon is a heavily stripped down version of Ruger's 250mm mortar. I've added two interlocking doors on the top to hide the barrel, but there are a number of other ways to do this, and remember to leave clearance at the side for your spin blocks to rotate, especially if you want to armour the spin block itself, and this is often rather fiddly. They're controlled by an ACB underneath, much the same as the previous missile system, although these are configured to activate 20 meters below the cannon does, or sorry, 20 meters ahead of the cannon, which gives them a second to get out of the way before the cannon rears its ugly head. Now, this is purely cosmetic as things on spin blocks will clip through each other anyway. At 800 meters, the cannon pops up, and if you choose to make one of these, giving your weapon the clearance to shoot is by far the most difficult part. There's quite a lot of space underneath this cannon, but it's actually required so that it can turn to a high enough angle to fire without damaging the hull. Not only do mortars normally require a shorter barrel, making them ideal for this purpose, they also have a high firing arc, allowing you to get a clear shot with this kind of weapon. This example is for another missile system, very similar to the first one, but much larger and with a second spin block controlling the front door. The first section is mostly cosmetic, but rotating it slightly out of the way gives us a little bit more clearance in front of the weapon and allows a lower rotation angle on the other spin block. This gives the weapon a bit more protection from incoming fire as it is not quite as exposed as it would otherwise be. But like I say, it's mostly cosmetic. Again, the front door is triggered to open 20 meters before the missile rack pops up, allowing it time to get out of the way and has a feel safe and limitations set on the firing controller to stop any unwanted explosions. The final example I have here is a simple side-mounted torpedo bay. Now you could expand this vertically very, very easily. This is more or less the same as the doors from the cannon example, but shows off a method of armoring the spin block. Uh, I've placed the armor on the sides of the spin block and the bottom. Uh, you just have to remember to leave room behind it for the armor to rotate inside the hull. You can see here, I have a gap left behind it, and everything sort of rigged out with glass so you know where you can place blocks. But in here, these have to be left completely clear, otherwise this can't turn in properly. Again, this uses the same configuration as the previous weapons, using an ACB to rotate the spin block when an enemy comes into range. If you're using a torpedo system like this though, I recommend an ejector to clear it from the hull, and a one turn to get it on target before it hits the water because you can't rotate them to their correct angle already. These types of weapon are largely quite impractical and have more of a place in a cosmetic build than in an efficient one, but with the changing landscape of combat effectiveness in this game, they may very well become useful in the future. The advanced cannons can now have extreme ranges, and protecting your weapons on their way to combat could be the difference between victory and defeat. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any likes, subs or comments are really, really awesome. I love hearing from you guys and I read every single comment. As always, take it handy and have a bloody good day.